Hello and welcome back to King of Dragon Pass viewer, The Rock Bottom Village. <coughs> you will know when you arrive. I have, a, uh, I have received some feedback, constructive or otherwise, regarding what we should do. And, you know, I did ask you to, to, to leave some... Uh, some directions that you that you yourself think are think are right. Not that I need help with the game, but rather for you to have something to say about it. And the things I have, uh, the adv advice that I have rec received, aren't always coexisting with each other. Some are contradictory. Some simply cannot uh, would would have to uh, mooch on the same resources, and thusly, thusly wouldn't work with each other and I will go I will go through them as, as we go uh, I won't I will try to uh, use as many of them as possible uh, depending on the circumstances and I hope you will trust my judgment and I hope that the game doesn't fuck us too much okay the last time I think I took herds and mysteries but I decided to take herds and crops and something else herds crops I'm not sure if it's mysteries or quests that give you bonuses to exploration. Fact is, let's go diplomacy. And the clan mode is optimistic, which is very nice. The farmers feel resolved, the weapon tains feel resolved. Very nice indeed, viewer, very nice indeed. Okay, um, what I, the first thing that I have uh, been told about is Marangos blessing and it is indeed very nice earth blood is a great shrine to have if you wage war a lot rather not <coughs> not wage war but if you are attacked a lot if you defend a lot because every fallen enemy translates to more food your crops your wheat your barley will uh, start growing faster the more blood you spill but we don't have too many enemies right now, so I will leave it for later. And there is only a limited amount of shrines you can sustain. And lastly, should a time come where enemies are at our doorstep, night and day, I will definitely go for Marango. Otherwise, it's rather tricky, viewer. With this being said, <coughs> let's sacrifice to Winga and let's try to get her blessings. Whom did I get a blessing with? Barn her right vigor. Vigor was which one? Farmers. Okay. Yeah, let's sacrifice to Vinga. Let's try to get a new blessing. Possibly Pathfinder. Third women. Not too bad, I guess. Brangdor, retain of the Apple Clan, which we are allied with, sweeps into your hall. Four grim warriors at his side. Last season, his nephew was killed by Orland, Ornal Halfoot, a member of your clan. Brando demands 30 cows as compensation. <coughs> I can tell you already that uh, 30 cows is too much. Hand and Ormal never got along. I think it was something about a woman. Nobody was very surprised when that they came to blows. So, this is out of question. They definitely killed each other. 30 cows would feed four families, exactly, so this is not... They would probably settle for less, but how much less? You are our bargain master, you are, you are a trader, but would they really go for 10 cows? And yes, apples have been good allies. If it was any other clan, I would just raid their fucking Tula. A young warrior of his rank is due a vergel of 20 cows, however... Ormal and his brother suffered compensating injuries in the incident worth about 10 cows. See, you are custom. You are the guy who knows what, what's... He's the bargainer and, and you, know, you know what's the base price for everything. For life. Uh-huh. They have more warriors than we do. Yes, that is true. Environment is... Absolutely right. Apple are too good of allies. I'll settle for 20 cows. 10 could displease the, the fucking apples. Okay, do we want third women blessing? <coughs> Allows our women to defend the Tula. And women make up for about half of the farmer's population. So that's a lot more defenders. 
Yeah, let's do it. Remember the Odila worshippers who were going to improve our hunting? I heard that they were successful and the hunting does seem to be excellent of late. Too bad I never fucking hunt. The warriors of your clan come to complain. There are too few warriors now and I agree completely. Now this is just a matter of what we will do about it. See, I would say send Tonalang, but Tonalang. Hmm. Yeah, let's send Tonalang. Let's send them for a single season. Because I will need them. Okay, let's send them for two seasons. I will need them this year. One season, two seasons, okay. None of our weapon things are assigned to Auto Patrol. You are correct. And let's recruit weapon tanks this way, as well. Frantic Carls run to the ring to report that six brothers, Carls, are calmly taking an entire herd of 50 cattle away from you. If it is a ri <laughs> raid, it is a very strange raid. The six brothers act as if they have permission to do this. They do have permission. Enfrew speaks up. Oh, you fucking son of a bitch. I said they could take the whole herd. The herd was entirely made up of funny looking cows. The cows are beside themselves with shock and outrage and I fucking agree, this this stupid son of a bitch. Gah. I still support the trickster. Yeah, see, this is this is why this guy is shit. He has a leadership of good only. So he, he he's worth nothing aside from being Orlantian. Yeah, since you support the fucking trickster, if there was an option to punish the fucking trickster, execute him, feed him to the fucking dogs, and do something else to try to reclaim our cows, I would do that. But if I have to choose between punishing the old fucker and reclaiming the cows, well, the cows are more important, since we have very few cows to begin with, for fuck's sake. And I shall not raid during fire season, because fire season is the main season to raid. Uh, because all the other seasons, your farmers are uh, busy. Sea season is uh, planting, and earth season is harvest, which leaves fire season to raid. But thanks to our ancestors fighting with the um, ice tribes, we do not fear winter. Winter normally brings huge risks, and mo no, most of the time uh, raids don't work during winter, but we should be, we should have more luck, and I'd rather focus right now to get on getting more weapon trains. <coughs> and more weapon trains we have. Okay, with this being said, let's explore the fucking quivering mountains. Take three weapon trains with you and take 10 footmen, move slowly. Two spirit talkers seek audience with the ring to see if you have any need of their services. They are Orlanti, but they wander around in the wilderness with ties to no single clan. Their magic is a little different from the kind you've used to. They deal with spirits, not gods. They are strangers, meaning that they are not of your clan, but can be trusted to follow normal customs and beliefs. Spirit Fetch. It's a magical item that replenishes our magic after we use it. We are threatened by undead. Are we? You're not quite like normal people and not quite foreigners. We still owe them courtesy and hospitality. We need no spirit talking, but we shall feed you. The old one told us that we would be rewarded for our generosity. I hope so. We got some magic for that. Okay, good. Perfect. And we have a party exploring in the mountains. So I should, what I should do in the meantime is... Let's see. Nothing over here. I need... Once you return, you will be sent to, to our uh, neighbors and try to get us some fucking alliances. Actually, let's try to go to the apples right now. 
because you ain't too bad. Go to the apples and try getting a trading route. That will aid us in uh, crafting. We could spare a few cows. I don't fucking care about cows, I want the trading route. I found only two new warriors. Well, that's bad, but I will take it. And with this being said, we shall strike at our great foe, the fucking fire quartz, right now, because right now they aren't expecting it. If we send too many warriors, they will be spotted and have to fight. White horses are the weakest of the nearby clans. Yes, but I don't, I'm not, I don't wish them harm. These are all potential members of our future tribe. Because forming a tribe of a number of uh, clans is one of your goals in this game. And you can only form a tribe of, with your neighbors. So if you get rid of the fucking fire quotes, suddenly we have promising neighbors. Let's just send the default that is that it is recommended for us, cattle rage. Oh, of course we are fucking spotted. Use all the magic. We need it. And maneuver because we... Man, uh, evade basically means that you flee from the combat. Skirmish utilizes slings and arrows, which means that your hunters actually play a great role. Otherwise hunters are more or less worthless. Maneuver... Move your forces for tactical advantage. And this is, this is based on your leader's uh, combat skill. Not your main leader, your war leader. And our war leader has a combat skill of renowned, which is very high. And charge your skull. So we'll go with maneuver, plunder, all the magic being used. Actually, no, just, let's just let's just use none. Hmm. I want this to succeed, but I don't trust my leader that much. And it fucking, of course. Combat renowned, it doesn't matter. Our caravan is back from the apples. They agreed to trade with us on a regular basis, and we made a profit. A heavy armed delegation from the Kolema tribe comes to you, your Tula, to demand tribute from you. <coughs> we, you we have a, cla a tribe and you are just a clan. We are strong and you are weak. Give us nine cows. Do we want to join the fucking... Whatchamacallit clan? Tribe? The Kolema were in a tribe in Dragon Pass before we even left the holy country. We'd be lucky to drive them, to drive off the, this delegation, let alone defeat a full Colimar raiding party. We have yet to make a reputation for great deeds and wise leadership. They will reject us if we ask to join them. They are strong and we are weak, okay. You are fucking stupid, Enfru. And you cost us cattle. How much cattle did he fucking cost us? I had... I'm sure I had 800 or more. God damn it. Let's do this. And let's give them some goods. They rejected us. We done no great deeds. The chieftain said that our ring was unwise and blind to Orlanti's virtues. Yeah, but <laughs> this allowed me to not pay you fucking cattle. <laughs> Okay, so we have some trading routes. The fucking Colomar, eh? And they, they all hate us. I don't care too much. Let's raid the fuckers of Fire Quartz again. Our warriors were battered and confused by fierce gusts of wind. No one wants to speak of it, but everyone is embarrassed that we were turned back by the servants of Valinj, our ancient enemies. See, if you fail a raid during a winter, you lose magic. And we are attacked by trolls who apparently don't fucking care about winter. And despite all our hunters and outer patrols, they all snuck past. Go with maneuver, drive them off, use all the magic. This can be costly otherwise. The magic was stronger, obviously, because this is fuck you, the game. But in the end, it all paid off. <coughs> Storm season. 
Increase the number of our weapon trains a lot. A scouting party discovers rich farmland not far from your stead. It is inhabited by strange beasts folk who behave sort of like normal Orlanti and call themselves the Thunder Ducks. For once both warriors and Kyles agree, it would be a fine thing to drive these small inhuman creatures from this fertile valley and claim it as your own. Which fucking war warriors and Karls you speak of? Because my fucking ring says that we should be wary. Except for this guy who only knows stuff about fucking animals and the motherfucking trickster who's worthless. Tell you what. Heads, we approach them peacefully. Tails, we take 50 food each year. We approach them peacefully. The Ducks accepted and gave our clan a place of honor in their songs. They said they would also praise us to their kin in the swamp. Is our fucking exploration party still on the mission to the... I think they will all be dead. We lost an exploration party. <coughs> Perfect, isn't it? Motherfuckers. Ah, before the year ends. Este... How does it even work? I have 400 farmers and I only had 50 people defending the fucking Tula against the trolls. Like, I have some sick. I have 12 hunters and we can have 47. Wow. Our hunters fight as well as our other Carls, but that has nothing to do with the question before the ring. Yeah, let's do that. 21 more babies, 20 children are adults, but 15 fewer people overall, so we lost fuck tons of people. We have less cattle, less horses, more sheep, and we have somewhat more food actually this is this is good this is very very good our good talkers forecast that the next harvest will be a good one we have less magic than last year they were looking forward to drinking the this year's milk which would be creamy and plentiful so what i will do is go with crops and herds obviously and then war a point in war and a point in hunting And you are older now. Let's see how many crafters we can sustain. 12, and we have 18. Okay, that's good. Do our neighbors hate us more suddenly? Somewhat. This entire fucking clan, uh, the tribe hates us, but... Nothing we can do about that shit. We have lots of hunters. The clan mode is gloomy, the farmers are disgruntled, but the weapon things feel resolved. And with this being said, I will send another fucking party over there because this one is defi fucking nearly dead. See? This one immediately, instantly arrives. The other party is dead. The other party along with all the weapon things and warriors we have sent is dead. Because exploration is fun. Welcome to fuck you the game. <laughs> Tonalang has come back from an expedition into the Quivin Mountains. He says he's found a cave of a worm. Worms are dragon-like creatures the, the size of a small stead. Tonalang thinks this one is sitting on a mound of treasure. And this is a good example of choices you, ha you have m made during the creation of your clan not always being perfect. In this example, if you kill the dragon and you take his hold, it's fuck tons of goods but since our ancestors were friendly with dragons we cannot do that our magic would decrease insanely and we would have worse luck than we already have for unque uh, un unspeakable amounts of time so what i will try to do is see if this piece of shit this this fucking bastard over here is worth anything and I'll try to send him to take the treasure without killing the worm. And Fru found the worm to be quite intelligent, although not quite intelligent enough. 
he taught it how to gamble and then beat it handling a dice. And it is considered a friendly action, so our magic has increased and our goods have increased by over a hundred. So this piece of shit has somewhat paid off his his huge debt to our society. And since we have so many goods right now, I will protect us somewhat more. By building... First let's take perimeter. That is good against horses. Oh! A band of wandering musicians requests permission to play at your clan market. The representative is a beastman who introduces himself as Herbal <laughs> and speaks straight talk as well as it can be spoken. My master promises an exciting and remarkable performance, one that will bring other clans from all over Dragon Pass. You will prosper from all, the, all of the trade opportunities and our fee for playing is very reasonable. 10 cows. I will pay it, no doubt. An opportunity to hear Bundalini's All Skeleton Band comes only once in a generation. In addition to Bundalini, the giant, the party includes two Minotaurs and a host of walking skeletons. When in doubt, delay. See, this is why you are a shitty leader! If there was any other Orlantian, you would be gone! Bad King Urgrain whipped a poet, and that poet wrote the sag sagas that preserve his name in infamy. So it, it doesn't fucking have to be uh, correct, now does it? The fucking poet could have been a scumbag. <laughs> Elfru could have been the fucking poet. And yes, I will uh, accept them, definitely. Ten cattle is not that much. Especially if it's for, for such a great cause. A festival atmosphere ensues and people from many clans come to trade, to talk, to swap, gossip, and to forget all old slights. This is the important part. When in context of skill and streng uh, strength, we'll strengthen our clan magic, okay? Our warriors wish to prove their abilities. This is a good time to seek new tra trade agreements. I don't have that many crafters and crafting goods to, to do that. My clan population is low, so forging new trade agreements wouldn't benefit me as much. Because same with, same as with the shrines, you can only s sustain as many, a certain number of trade agreements, which increases as your power grows. But our power is fucking nowhere right now. Don't talk to me unless you are here to tell me I can kill them all. Okay, so you didn't want them in the town. Advantageous marriages. So, uh, alliances, I assume. Agreements give gifts to other clans. During tragic King Erant's last days as the poison seeped through his body, music was the only pleasure that could ease his fevered mind. Challenge members of other clans to tests of skill and strength. We won the most contests, and the others celebrated our prowess. Do they like us more? They do like us more, look! They were fucking red before. Wildcats like us a lot. Blue Jay, Nari, Karadoli, Buskovi, and it only cost us 10 cows. Lesank also didn't like us before. 141 goods. I would buy the build, build a stone wall, but... Hmm, how many weapon things can I... Four more. I don't want that, no. It's not worth it. So the party is dead. I'll send four weapon things and 10 footmen into our own Tula, slowly, but with a different leader. Oh, you are on the mission, actually. God damn it! I wanted to send her if, if she was to die. Because she's old. Nothing in our Tula. God damn it! Fire season still going strong, but I do not wish to attack during fire season. For the reason that I have mentioned before. Let's try to set an alliance with Blue Jay. Emissary, you propose an alliance. No, we don't need more food. We are fine. Send 15 goods to start the talk. Five weapon tains. Your emissary Tonalang approaches the Blue Jays, seeking to negotiate an alliance with them. First, he presents the gift. The Blue Jays are most pleased with the gifts. 
Once the gift is over, how does he approach the blue chase for this alliance? And this is completely fucking random. You can you can you can guess correctly what they want, and they will still tell you to fuck yourself and start a feud and fucking kill you. But uh, it's random generated the game, so we must appeal to his lust for wealth. Let's do that then. Agreed. After carefully considering the advantages and disadvantages, I can only conclude that we would benefit by it. And fucking fire quotes. Okay. One of the viewers, well, I'm not sure if he, he remains a viewer or if he was a viewer, but a person that spoke about hunters in this game, Mr. Il Palazzo, claimed them to be the best thing to happen to Dragon Spas, because they just do everything and the game doesn't feature a random generator, right? Well, good sir, we have 6,000 hunters and all of our weapon aids are on the lookout, with our entire population being inside the Tula. Fire quotes stole our fucking cows. This is just to reassure everyone, this is random number generator, the game. You can only help your luck as much. And we are raided. Also, they, they raid our cattle twice. Well, since we have so many hunters, skirmish is the way to go. I will put one point into magic. No, I won't put points into magic. Okay, we killed one of their weapon tains. Another bloody random event. Ernaldini of the Van Stali clan accompanied by Orkland and Rastorlands of the Apple clan comes to convince your weapon tains to help her ambush and kill Intagran, king of the Colimar... <sighs> oh shit! If we fucking step out of this... out of the line, this, this will be our end. They demand tribute from us. Van Stali and Apple Clan. The Colomar King wields great powers. One of them is the Seeing Spirit, which protects him from ambush. How do you know that? Oh, because you are fucking perfect with magic. Much better than this douchebag. It's not as if the Colomar have taken tribute from us. You fucking fool, they tried. You are worthless on this fucking ring. God damn it, I should to replace you, but you are good with animals. If we take this news to Intagrand, he'll reward us with... But these are our allies, you fucking fool! God damn it! The ambush will fail. Yes, I agree. And even if it succeeds, it will be discovered and we will pay for that. If we let the de weapon tains decide what to do, they will not blame us for the outcome. It's not the weapon tains I worry. It's the wrath of the fucking tribe of five clans descending upon us all at once, constantly. A permanent war to total annihilation. The Colomar must die. Yes, so this is... This right here is exactly why we will uh, convince them to abandon their plan. Arnaldini was impressed by Varman's words and said that she would not pursue the plan. She praised Varman's wisdom and gave him a gift of silver. Good, because that was a stupid plan. We are not in position to fucking do anything right there right now. Which was the clan? Van Scali, was it? Oh yeah! Another one of our allies. We have three allies over here. So if we were to form a tribe going over this way perhaps would be the best with thunder ducks protecting us from the north and the mountains over here from the south. But this means that we should do something about white horses. <coughs> then again, if we get apples, blue jays and white horses, we are protected from all directions and then assaulting. And that's, that's perfect. We, we would be only attacked from the north without warning. This is something to consider for the future, not for right now. For right now, we need more sacrifices. And I'm really willing to do the Uraldas hero quest first. Once we get to hero quests, I will explain them somewhat more. But for a hero quest, you need a powerful worshipper of that deity. And we only have Orland Chalana Aloy. 
not not as much. You really need excellent for for to do a hero quest. And from Ural now we only have good, which is bad. Do we have a better leader yet? Well, he's still better, but only by one bracket. And you are dead. You are definitely dead. But maybe I will get an Orlantian leader in his place. I should send you somewhere. Actually, I should try to do the hero quest if only to get rid of those fucking bastards over here like Yerenarlda. No, better yet. Explore. You. If you succeed, good. If you don't, I lose nothing. Actually, I gain. If you die, I gain stuff. We are being raided by the horse nomads. They have millions upon millions of fucking people. But we... The blue y y jays warned us. See? Perfect fucking alliance. Because our 600 fucking hunters would do nothing. They are worthless without blessings, which we will strive towards. Okay, we definitely need to win this one. I will use all of our magic. Four magic points. No sacrifice, no. Drive them off and skirmish because we have lots and lots of fucking skirmishes. No, let's use two magic. Let's not be crazy. We have 50 hunters. And we have wooden stakes to protect ours, us against horses. And our females can wa uh, fight too, women rather. And we have great leaders. And we have the same numbers basically. We won. We captured 21 horses. The nomads had to charge through a devastating hail of missile fire. There was better fighting, their magic was stronger, wow. We drove the horse nomads off, and the survivors left without plundering our Tula. None of our uh, weapon tanks died. Five farmers died. We got 21 horses. The party was sent to explore. Yeah, they are dead. <laughs> and so shall be the others. I shall send one more party over here with another worthless person. Yes, you or you? You. Yernalda's exploration to the northwest is attacked by a band of ragged outlaws. Bluff her way. Okay. Kill as many as possible. Die, please. Please die. And come home to heal. Fucking hell. Women from the Apple clan come to urge you to help them prosecute a feud against the Anzarni. They have done us grievous... They... Grievous injury, blaming us for sending dragon youths against another clan. We have always been our friends, and that is true. We ask you to aid us in smiting these villains. If you want gods to aid a feud, sacrifice to Urox, who likes to see a bad wind blow. Would we ever want Anzarni to join our tribe? Anzarni are the ones to the north of us, are they not? I believe so. These women truly despise Anzarni. It will be very hard to make peace between them, but if we succeed, the rewards will be great. But if we fail, we will fail our ally. We are not obligated to help them. Alright, oh, tell you they need everyone to work in the field because it's the fucking season. Harvest season, exactly. Offer to make peace between the feuding clans. The, f the women as were skeptical but said we could try to make peace between the two clans. After many meetings with both clan ri rings, we persuaded them to bargain together. They made peace and each clan thanked us. They were competed. They competed in giving us gifts. And the harvest was bountiful. And the fuckers who attacked us are horsepawn. They worship Orland's enemy? Yelm, the bird emperor. So I know we haven't seen the last of them. 
It's looking very nice right now. God damn it. All with the exception of this. We have many sick. But the fucking clan is dissatisfied and the farmers are discontented. Feast! Large invite neighbors. Do we have enough food? Yes, we do. We have 1600 food. Feast. We didn't invite you trolls, but you might as well come along. Skirmish, drive them off. We destroyed them. <sighs> yep. Did this increase our relations? Uh, I guess. We only have two fuels, and everyone else is kind of okay with us. That's perfect. Do we have anyone exploring right now? Yes, one person. What is this? Dark season. Let's send the, the bloody old hag again. Where is she? Oh, she's wounded. Well, good. Die. Are you any good? Shalana Aloy. You, I, 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 I might need you someday. You are extremely old. And you are worthless. And you have good combat, so... Wait, wait, wait. Who was that? Elmal. Yeah, you are worthless. God damn it. No weapon tains. The lowest possible amount of footmen. Quickly, go. More bandits. I guess that is to this... To... <coughs> punish people who don't use any... Uh, Weapon tains. Kill them! The party continued, yes! Survivors of our expedition to the harsh plains of Prax have returned to our Tula! Our explorers found an opportunity for plunder too ripe to resist. A vulnerable seeming encampment of strange nomads who rode upon sleek deer like beasts with knife life like horns. They swept upon them but found them to be fierce and tricky fighters. Some of our people are wounded. One lay dead in Prax, their bones turning to chalk under the land's baleful sun. Dangar, a young energetic farmer on the road to prosperity, asks the clan council for help. He claims that his stead is haunted. Objects move around, wailing noises come from nowhere. Dangar's wife and child have even seen an apparition. Most of our gods were dead, but brought back to life by Orlat and the Lightbringers. This is worthless, you know, Natalina? I don't know what ghost would want from us. How can I then bargain with one? Huh. You will be the best because you have the highest custom. None of Hell's laws obligate us to aid the victims of a haunting. You never been a fucking council member, were you? These are these are power our people, you scumbag. Let's do this. Right, we we had a court case against the ghost. <laughs> Storm season. Let's try to sacrifice to Malia to cure the wounded. All of all of our sick are uh, sick, not wounded, obviously. Rakstani have a new chief. Storm season is coming to an end. The year is coming to an end, and thusly this video will come to an end. But as my last action, I will build a stone wall so that the future attacks will meet fierce fucking resistance. Fleeing shapes have been seen and flashing eyes. I'm not sure what they are, but they don't seem like ordinary wolves. 22 more babies were born. 20 children as adults. We have 8 fewer people though. 50 fewer cattle. 20 more horses though. And we have much more food than we did before. And our situation Diplomatically speaking, is looking much, much better. Our Tula is more protected. Let's see the forecast for this year, and I shall see you next time. Our God Talkers forecast that the next harvest will be a good one, and they heard metal ringing in the distance, but could not tell if it was bells or swords.